Hey guys, I started the day off thinking I was going to do a video on this meter because it looks like it might be a nice meter that's meant not as an entry level meter, but as a more advanced meter at a low price. But I had to quit using it halfway through the day because I had difficulties. So I got another video for you. This one is a home warranty call and it's going to turn into a change out. And I had a huge leak on this thing. Here it comes. On this one, we have a no cooling. Oh my word, those right there are Black Widow balls. Most this thing looks dangerous, don't it? <clears throat> but she said it's been running for two days. That right there feels a little bit cold. Look at all the bug carcasses down here. There's been a black widow in here. She's not in here now. Let's see what Wait a minute, that's in a vacuum? Holy smokes Yeah, that's in a vacuum This thing ain't got no Freon in it Holy shit Dang, I think that's a rose bush. It just stuck. Well, let's look for a leak in here first before we go digging into things upstairs. A lot of the times when it's just completely out of Freon, there might be something up here. I mean, out here. I'm not seeing oil spots. Let me see if I have any pressure on this now. That thing says I'm still in a vacuum. Hmm. These older systems likely had a piston on them. I'm gonna have to pressurize just to do a leak search. All right, I'm boosting this up a little bit the way that, that this thing is so slowly rising. Maybe it's because it's cold out here, but I am um, putting refrigerant in it so I can check it. I'm just going to put a little bit and I may do the rest with nitrogen. Let me see. 
do I have a platform over there? Get some light. All right, this is a uh, 2003. So it's uh, what is that? 19 years, 19 years old now. Let's see if we find a leak on this copper coil. Let's see. I think there's something back there making it go off. I just gotta find it. Check that again. <clears throat> what in the world? I'm not getting anything to repeat. I'm gonna go put some nitrogen to it and pump this thing up. And we're going to try again. All that time I thought I was recording. This, um, I pumped this up. I found some of the, the one of the Schraders leaking. Oh, my word. Look at that. I did not even see that when I was out here the first time. That's a bad leak. Tell you what, while I got pressure, I'm gonna do a leak search up top again.
about that. Yep, we got a leak up here too. put this back together and I'm not sure how I'm going to get information on that condenser coil. I think it's time for a new system. Okay, so yeah, there's no copper tubing other than the coil right there. It seems like from what the homeowner told me the last company out Put some leak stock in it and charged it up. Leak stock is not my preference. And second of all, it ain't gonna stop something like that. Something you can hear. It's got to be tiny leak. I can't just hear that. I can see it. And um, I don't like using it at all. It's it's like my last resort. But yeah, putting leak stuff in that ain't gonna do nothing. All right, so that system is totaled. I'll tell you right now, that's a home warranty call. And if you think there's no money in home warranty, you don't know how to work the system. I can make just as much money on a home warranty change out like that with them providing the equipment as I would on one of my change outs. Maybe I'll go over how to do that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next one.